I think like a lot of you out there, we're starting to get rid of our cables, aren't we? When it comes to things like keyboards and mice, trackpads, whatever they are, we're getting more into something called Bluetooth technology. Been out there for years. Now, without getting into the technicals of Bluetooth, basically Bluetooth is a communication protocol that if it says Bluetooth and it really is Bluetooth, will work with any other computer that is Bluetooth, Mac, or Windows. Doesn't matter. So let's talk about how we would take a Bluetooth device and hook it up. Now let's go into the Apple and go into System Preferences and go into Bluetooth right here. Now I do have one device. It's my trackpad. That's already connected. So that's already been done. If I want to connect something else, I need to turn it on. But remember, it doesn't have to be an Apple device. It just has to be Bluetooth. There is one big difference between non-Apple. If it's an Apple device and you turn it on, it's basically going to go into what's called discoverable mode, and you're going to see it here. If it's a non-Apple device, it's got a button on it somewhere probably that says, click and hold this until this light blinks, and now it's discoverable, and then you'll see it here. So let me turn on my wife's Bluetooth keyboard. Well, there it is. So what I can do now is pair it. Now, the same thing would have happened if I had put my trackpad up there for the first time. It would say pair. So if I come over here and click pair, it's going to try to connect. And this is what I have to do. On the keyboard to make it mine, I have to type in 941125 and press return. Now, the reason I'm not going to do that because I don't know when she's going to be home, and I have to get this back on her computer before she does. But if I did, I would then literally have two keyboards, the USB one that I'm using and this one. Let me go ahead and cancel out of here. Now, I also actually have her mouse, too. She's going to love me. If I go ahead and turn her mouse on, now it says Andy Anderson's mouse because I gave it to her. Okay, if it says pair, and I can pair it, connect it. The point is, when you're working with Bluetooth, it's very easy. You come in here, you make sure the device is discoverable, and basically you've got it. With keyboards, they're going to want you to type something in. Now, you do have a couple of advanced options. One is, do you want to open Bluetooth Setup Assistant? If there's no keyboard, open it. If there's no mouse detected, and allow Bluetooth devices to wake the computer. Now, I leave all of those on, especially waking, because if all you had were, say, a keyboard and a mouse, and they were Bluetooth, and your system went to sleep, how would you wake it up? So I would leave all those on. Very easy thing to do. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get these things back to my wife's computer. 